opens up opens up everything for us on the floor, um, and then we start playing uh, off of him. Uh, he uh, gives up gives up himself uh, when it comes down to him not having the ball. Um, even with Luca out there, you know he he does a great job of screening and off the ball and and uh, having and playing off of guys, uh, playing off their uh, their energy. So um, uh, it was, I mean. That's how we all play when, you know, when that second unit's in there, uh, when 77 takes a break and we play fast, we play aggressive. Um, so it's, a, it's, our, it's our brand of basketball for sure. Our, our, our three possession on our side. Three, yeah. Well, what happened was I hit, we got an offense rebound, and my shot hit the damn side of the backboard. And then, then you know, I had to, you know, stat pad a little bit, give him off his rebound a little bit, you know. And then uh, shot it again, felt good. Then got the offense rebound again, gave the ball to Kai, and then, you know, Josh shot one go up over that side already, so. Kai made an unselfish play. Josh knocked it down. He's talking trash to JB the whole game. So, you know, they love one another. So out there is all brotherly love. So it was it was good just to see those two go at it. I saw uh, JB give you a little, a little push there late in the uh, What was this? JB was late, like, uh, was oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, game's over, man. <laughs> like, no, but he was, uh, you know, it was always great. You know, he hasn't, we haven't played against Jalen here. I believe, I think last time he was here, he was hurt. So, uh, I mean, it was great just to play against one of your, your good friends and see him out there on the floor and, and see what he's, he's done uh, for himself uh, since, um, since after uh, playing for Mavs. So it was great just to be able to go be out to court, on the court with him. Yeah, just shows the resiliency, the next man up mentality. Uh, the trust factor, the care factor that everyone has for one another. Um, uh, we knew we wasn't at our best last game, um, so uh, just wanted to do a great job of coming in here, being the aggressor, setting the tone physically. Um, Josh picking up full court, which was amazing, and um, and that right there uh, does a lot for the other four guys uh, as you're ready on, on defense to go out there and compete. I think it was solid. I think it was fine. Um, didn't really force anything. I don't think too much. Uh, probably one or two, but I think that's just me trying to be aggressive and um, keep the defense honest. I would say. Um, but you know, there's a lot of them that I'll, a couple of them that I'd love to have back. Um, that I knew I, if I took a, if I drove to the basket, I think here and there, uh, the lane was kind of open. So um, just watch film. And, you know, get better each and every day. Yeah, it's it's. Um, I think for the most part, it's just. For me, it's always been embracing that that six man role, and whenever someone's out or whenever someone's not having the night that they're accustomed to having, um, that's my job to go out there, and and set the tone and be that energy giver for the team. So um, tonight, you know, Luca was out. I uh, didn't know that at all. So uh, just being able to go out there, my teammates trusting me, uh, giving me the ball, making sure I make the right decisions out there on the floor. Um, uh, it really helped a lot. Confidence, confidence for sure. Uh, it really helped me. A pretty big part of your performance was you scored a season high eight points using ball screens. You had a nugget three in handoffs. How important was it for you to kind of take, fill some of that void, you know, with Luke out, making plays in those actions? Yeah, I mean, that's what I do, man. I mean, I've I've been doing that my whole career, coming off down screens, ball screens, backdoor cuts, uh, pitch games. I mean, I'm not gonna give it all away, but you no, know, that's that's what I feel comfortable doing. And and the more I see that, the more I get opportunities in those situations. Uh, I feel like I flourish the most. Can you run us through the, the last play there, there the three, uh, three offensive rebounds? Oh yeah, it was. Uh... 
every it's it's worse when everything like in time is everything's slow motion. So it felt it felt uh, it was cool. It was it was cool. I mean, I think for us to come up with those three big offensive rebounds, you know, uh, it was big for us. Um, and yeah, we we need to take advantage of it. I mean, I don't think it was like, you know, it's not directed towards him, but, you know, after the last game and stuff, you know, we last game wasn't who we were as a team and, you know, just in general. So for me, it's just making sure I come out with a, uh, you know, a presence and being ready to go with energy. And, you know, and it was cool because, you know, the whole team followed with, you know, everybody was picking up and it, it was it was good, you know, and it's uh, it's it's fun, you know, it's fun like that. So it was good. You guys are good friends. You're regarding each other. Me and Jalen? Yeah. yeah. We're great. We're like? We're good friends. What was that like regarding each other? Uh, it was good. I mean, it was cool. You know, I, it, it's, it's, it felt weird, you know. Uh, it doesn't. It, it feels like a long time ago he was here. But, um, no, he's a good guy, you know, and he's a, you know, it's always cool to go against any, com, you know, competitor and whatnot. And, you know, just I've learned a lot from him when he was here. You know, he took, you know, working out very seriously, always came back at nighttime. And, you know, I was able to, you know, follow you know his routine and what he did um so to be able to be able to see you know how well of a season he's had and even you know last year too you know uh obviously as a also a competitor going against him i don't want him to do that against us but you know deep down like i'm like you know really happy for him and i'm happy for all his success that he's done what were some of the most important things entering the matchup picking up in the full court against him and just guarding him uh, I, I think, you know, going off last game too, I, I think, you know, we all came in, you know, way too soft. You know, we, we need to be the team that, you know, um, you know, hits first. You know, it's tough to, you know, it, it, if we're hitting first, you know, it's very hard to play against a team with, you know, Luca and Kyrie, you know. So it's up to us to make sure that we, we make that hit and, and we're aggressive. You know, we're, we can be a physical team and we, we need to continue to do that. So I think, uh, you know, coming out like that was important. Josh, each time the Knicks made a big run, you had a big moment um, or a big shot where it stopped the, their momentum, the dribble drive from the corner or the big three. But what does that do for you personally to have those moments for yourself and help this team win? Uh, I, I just just play. You know, I just need to, you know, we need to, I wanted to win. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm competitive. I see Jalen. I don't want to hear anything from Jalen, you know. So I, I just, you know, I, I don't know. I saw the shot and I, I wanted to get it. I'm tired, so I'm not going to have great answers tonight. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think I just need to continue to be aggressive and, you know, make those plays, you know. It was just play basketball. Josh, uh, I'm sure you watched Kyrie growing up and before getting to the league. What's it like being on this team now, watching him up close, you know, score 44 points on your team? It's crazy. I, it's funny because, like, I always have, like, a moment like that, like, where I'm, like, you know, on the team with Kyrie and everybody, like even just being in the NBA, man, like I'm just grateful that, you know, I was, you know, all the opportunities, you know, just to be here, um, be able to learn so much. Uh, but, you know, it's amazing to have him as a teammate. But, you know, also like, you know, he teaches a lot on the court, but also off the court too. You know, he's a very down to earth guy and he's been an amazing veteran for the younger guys. Um, and, you know, at his age and everything, you know, and all the success he's done, you know, the competitiveness that he has, you know, tonight he was picking up full court, you know, he was asking, he's like, hey, you let me pick up Jalen full court. And, you know, for somebody who's had that much success in the NBA, is like, as a young guy looking at that, you know, it motivates you and it's, it's really cool. What stood out about Kyrie and <laughs> uh, They were good. You know, I thought um, Kai's done this here of late, just setting the tone uh, on both ends. But I think offensively, getting us off to a good start. But, you know, in that first quarter, the ball was moving. There was a lot of positive energy out there on both sides, offensive and defensively. And so, um, great group. I mean, those those are our leaders tonight. Those two led us, and, and they put us in a position to win a, a tough game. What was your vantage point of, of that one uh, possession late in the game, three offensively bounced by another guy? Yeah. Oh, well, we got a good look. Um, and so to come up with the three offensive rebounds at that point was, was huge. And then for Josh to get another shot at it, you know, from the slot, um, he didn't hesitate, um, and so um, I thought he was great on both ends of the ball. I thought he started us off with the physicality of guarding Brunson. It's not easy, um, but I thought he did a great job 
Um, but again, there was no hesitation when he, the ball found him. He shot it, he made a big shot. Um, and then just the trust with that group, you know, the group trusted one another. We made plays when we had to. They made a run, uh, but no one panicked. We stayed the course and, uh, and came with a big uh, bounce back game after the last uh, game here at home. Oh, no, we spent a lot of time yesterday talking about it, probably a little bit too long. But, um, you know, I think we, again, character in that, that locker room, um, the guys, again, New York is playing extremely well, um, and they were up for the challenge tonight. Um, but, I, again, the character that the guys uh, understood what, as coaches what we're asking them to do, and they did it for 48 minutes tonight. I was trying to get out of the way. <laughs> um, no, 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 I, I can't jump, um, unfortunately. But uh, I thought just the hustle play that to be able to dive, again, I think we've talked about this before, our stars are diving on the floor, and it's a regular season game. I think they just it just shows the importance, their leadership of, um, you know, where they're at, their mentality. Um, and so... They're leaders, and that's what leaders do. They got to sacrifice once in a while, and and Kai and, and Luca have done that by diving for the ball, and we come up with a steal, and uh, and then we go the other way. Um, and so, um, again, Kai's been great um, coming back from injury, and and we needed that. But I, th I thought the role players did a really good job tonight of doing their job, and staying in character and didn't do anything, um, you know, more or less. Um, so it's a great team win. Uh, well, I was, you know, I, you know, I was trying to look at him in the post um, to try to conserve some energy. I know he's, uh, if not the best uh, with the dribble, um, but when you're gonna, you know, maybe play him forty something minutes, um, how can you use him um, where he's not expending a lot of energy? And it's harder, you know, sometimes to double team. And I thought with the post, um, looking at putting him in the post tonight, something that we haven't, you know, really, you know, looked at. Um, he's just as good in the post uh, as he is off the dribble. And so I asked him, could he post up tonight a little bit? And I, I thought, again, he delivered. You mentioned him coming off the injury and he's out 20 days. I'm guessing you haven't had many practices. He had one kind of game where he kind of was trying to fit in and he's been explosive ever since. Yeah. Are you surprised that he's, or why do you think he's been able to do that? I think our last practice was December 20th. Um, so it's been a while. Um, and so sometimes the game is going to be a practice and, you know, coming back from injury. Um, and we have a lot of those. So, you know, it's hard to simulate, you know, five on five um, when you, you don't have enough guys to do that. And that just shows uh, where he's at mentally and physically, um, you know, to be able to do that and also find a way to, you know, get a rhythm and then ask to, you know, carry the load. And so that's who he is, and that's what makes him special. Yeah, it's just the league. The schedule is messed up for everybody, you know, and, and we can sit here and complain and talk about that. But it's, you know, it is what it is. We got to play it out. Um, we're playing every other day. Um, and so there's really no time to practice. It's about, you know, recovery, rest, and, and, and let's do it again. And so, um, you know, the, I don't even know if the players like it as much. Um, I know they don't want to practice, but um, it, it's, you know, we got to do film or we have to do something to teach to help um, as we go forward. But every, this schedule, until we go on this road trip, it's just this, it is what it is. Yeah, he's yeah. I think when you you're, you're talking about Kai, right? Oh, that, oh, there. I like it. Yeah, I, I think we have an unselfish team. You know, understanding we have guys who are going to be double teamed, and we're going to you know trust they 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 cause the problem of Anish basketball, and we believe that the next guy is going to make the play. Uh, D Jones was in that position tonight, uh, with them going to hit Kai and. Uh, Kai did his part. He trusted that D. Jones was going to find the open guy. Uh, again, Kai had the 10 assists. I thought Josh did a great job. I thought Hardy in transition was great uh, in decision making. So, a lot of good things tonight um, from everybody. How important was it to keep uh, pushing the pace to get out on the break? 
Yeah, we yeah, we wanted to play fast. Um, we talked about if, if we wanted to play fast, we had to rebound the ball. And so um, I thought the guys, you know, were small. And so I thought the guys came back and we were physical. We got the rebound and we put a lot of pressure on their transition defense tonight. Uh, early in the game, you busted the small ball lineup. Josh had a couple of attacks off the dribble against Big. How important is it for him to be aggressive when he has those mismatches when you guys are going small? Yeah, he had, you know, I thought he was aggressive from the start um, going against his old friend. Um, but we, we need that. We need him to uh, play with thrust. We need him to be aggressive. Uh, his playmaking skills, again, when he can you know, get in the paint, he, I thought he found Timmy on a great um, corner three uh, be, by attacking. Uh, we trust that Josh is going to do the right thing when he has the ball. He's developing into another quarterback, which will only make us better. Thanks.